everybody, Uncle D here. I'm going to show you today how to make one of these golf clubs so you can play golf like an actual pro in virtual reality. First thing we got to do though is go to the hardware store and we're going to get some couple small parts. I bet you you'll spend 10 bucks, maybe 11 bucks with gas to make this beautiful thing right here. All right, let's go. <laughs> Go ahead and get one of these uh, flex coupling, one and a half by one and quarter, ten bucks each. All right, first off, you're gonna get yourself a club. You can get these for like a dollar at Goodwill. This here is a Northwestern nine iron that I don't care anything about, and I got a grinder here. You know, grinder. I happen to have this one sitting around, but a little grinding wheel on there. Uh, I think cut right around about where the sticker's at. You're going to want to cut right where the shaft gets a little bigger there. You're going to want that to go into the wood. So we're going to cut right about where that sticker is. thing we're going to want to do is take our coupler and we're going to cut a round piece of wood. We're going to cut it out of this thing that I found. It's just sitting in the trash. It's an old, I don't know what it is, but uh, we're going to use that. So I'm going to set this right on here. Utilize one of the edges there. Use my pencil. Make the circular mark. I don't know if you can see in there or not. But there we have it. Doesn't have to be perfect by any means. And we're gonna go ahead and cut that out with a jigsaw right here. All right, before we cut it all the way through though, we wanna make a mark in the middle of the circle. And I'm gonna go 7 sixteenths for this particular one is right in the middle. So I'm gonna make a mark right there. I'm gonna measure it over here. Seven sixteenth. So there's the middle. We want the hole in the middle. And then uh, before I cut it out, I'm going to drill a hole through the middle. We're going to use a half inch drill. This is a Makita high speed drill here. Go right in the middle. Now, half inches in can be quite big enough, so I'm gonna make it a little bigger. There we go. There we go. Voila. All right, we're gonna wanna knock these edges in a little bit so it goes into the wood clean. So I'm gonna grab my hammer here. Let's go on the ground and Okay, and then with this, we're gonna go back on the ground, shove that in there. Hopefully that gets in there good. Yeah. All right, we got her all the way through. She seems pretty tight. All right, we're gonna take this here, it's nice and solid. Shove it into this, line it up with the clamp. Go ahead and tighten that down. As tight as you can get it. Just keep filming and I can, we can edit it. this out. Mm. All right, get it nice and tight. Probably want a better screwdriver than what I'm using, but seems pretty solid. 
Okay, now we're going to take the Quest controller. We're going to stick it in, but I want you to be sure you put this uh, little tie thing down all the way at the end. Let's pop that in. Just goes right in. Push it right up to the button. Now I'm going to tighten this down, the clamp. Now you don't want to go too tight to break the thing, so you really got to keep an eye on how tight it's actually getting. Right there is pretty snug. I'm gonna give it a feel. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna go one or two more. Okay, now you take the strap. Let's bring it down here. Hook it onto the screw there of the clamp and tighten that down just in case it does come off, which it's not going to. And voila, you have. All right. Don't forget to go to the settings and change the view so it knows that you have a plug hooked up to the